This is Oshadi, one of the areas in Lagos State. Hello there and a warm welcome to this week's edition of Super Eye on Super Screen. I'm Adenike Uwege Ajiboy, your host always on the program. Yesterday on Super Eye, we want to revisit the extrajudicial killing by the police. And this time around, the focus is on Lagos State, particularly focusing on two Nigerians who live in Lagos and their names are Oganovo Ebobo and Ayodele Sholaja from two different families who were allegedly murdered by some trigger happy uh, policemen of Adolf Division in the Iba Isheri areas of Lagos State on a Monday, precisely August 19, 2019. Now, before we ride on, we have actually talked about this issue before on this program. But of course, for you to know, Super Eye is a program that beams a searchlight on the ears of the society. And the essence is for us to have a better society. So I want us to quickly uh, take a listen to this report done by uh, Mike Osemeke, at least just to refresh your memories the, on uh, what we brought to you then. So you take a listen to this report and we will be right back. One justice. It's not. It, 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 it's the only brother I have. Oh. It's the only brother I have. I love the brother again. It's the only one. How can how can a policeman ask me about that for nothing? Cry out by the parents of two young Nigerians arrested and allegedly shot extrajudiciously by some police officers attached to the Lagos State Police Command from Adolf Police Station along Lasu Iba Expressway in Lagos. The two Nigerians, Orenovo Ebobo, aged 36, and 29-year-old Ayodele Gabriel Sholaja, according to the police, were arrested based on a distress call of an ongoing robbery attack the six-man police team were responding to in the area. The two young Nigerians, after being arrested and secured in a yellow commercial bus, used as operational vehicle by the policemen were gruesomely executed extrajudiciously the parents and counsel to the family share a different story as they demand for justice my son is not an is armed copper. robber. He is a copper. He just came back from France. I don't know where they abandoned the cops. Hello. I need, I need this cop. It's a befitting barrier. My son is not an armed robber. He's not an armed robber. Anywhere Mr. Omo keep my son, he should come and show me. Because that very day, somebody comes that I should go to Adobe Police Station. And when they are not aware, uh, they say, I learned that my son is here. This policeman starts uh, going inside, be checking inside. They do not see him, they not come and meet me. Madam, if you see your son, will you know your son? He not show me picture. This is the picture. And I look at that. I said, this is my son. Uh. He said, Madam, go to Badagri Police, uh, Badagri 
very much worry. And as such, I don't even know what to do. Even me and the wife that day, the wife immediately, he has a pregnant almost a form going to form I cannot, I don't know what to do in that very night. Around 11, 11 o'clock p.m. in the night, I suffer a lot. It's the time for my son to come and give me food to eat. His name is Mr. Omo. Now remember my son and keep my son for me. I want to even know the Mr. Man. Let him come and even shoot the mother. If they can release it, let him come and shoot me. Who come and finish the whole family that we know that they have a whole family finish. I'm a widow. That my son is my is my husband, is my everything. Same Mr. Omo give them a wrong impression that they should go to Baragui General Hospital and General Mostuary to go and identify the cops there. Madam, go, 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 go. Drive my mother away. That if my mother knock me over, they will arrest my mother. All we need, let Nigeria please let us stand of us and fight the justice. This thing must end because we are going through pain. And those policemen, they must still go down the way my brother go down. The compelling and mind-boggling questions begging for answer and necessi necessitating my call for inquiry is why did the police summarily execute these two persons already arrested, already restrained, already incapacitated, and in custody, and who are neither aggressive or confrontational or making any efforts at an escape. Why were they summarily executed? Along the line, video of what transpired was released by Nigerians, which shows that the police took laws into their hands. We call on the Office of the Attorney General to hold an inquest, an inquiry, apart from the prosecution, there are more to this matter that has been reported or been presented by the police. Whilst in earnest expectation of your acknowledgement and reply, we trust in the positive and patriotic response and consideration of our petition by your office. Although the police has detained the police team responsible for shooting the victims, whose parents say one is a youth copper serving in Kogi State and the other a married man whose wife is five months pregnant. It remains to be seen if justice will indeed prevail. And do their business. Yes, that was the report which we brought to you then. And um, the essence for you to listen to that report today is just to refresh your memory. So you have an idea of what we are talking about. Today, I am now being joined by the families of this uh, young Nigerians who were shot, who were allegedly shot by the police. Uh, seated beside me is the mother of Ogenovo Ebobo, um, Mrs. Rosalind Ebobo. You're welcome to Super Eye, ma'am. And seated beside him is the father of Ayodele Sholaja, Mr. Mayowa Sholaja. You're welcome to yeah. Super I, sir. Thank you. And then seated by his side there is the legal practitioner. Of course, you know that is Barrister Adishino Ogunlano, a lawyer to both families, and is the immediate of uh, the immediate uh, president of MBA Ikeda branch. I mean. Uh, chairman, you're welcome to Super Eye, sir. Thank you so much. Good evening. All right, sir. Um, it has become imperative for us to continue to beam a such light on the ease of the society. Yes, we brought that story, but of course, this will give us the opportunity and give Nigerians the opportunity to hear from the horse's mouth. And let them tell us there are so many stories surrounding this, uh, while the, the police give their own part of the story, and that is part of what I'm also going to uh, bring. Uh, on board to the viewers and YouTube today. So, sir, give us an update on this uh, very story. Thank you so much. Um, let, let me first um, appreciate Super Screen, <coughs> the television station here, for being interested in the uh, social engineering. Now, in respect of this matter, uh, we've actually brought an action up on behalf of the two deceased persons, fundamental rights. Each, uh, one is by the father here, and that's Mr. Mayawa for his son, the other by Mrs. Um, Rosalie Bubu for the son too. We filed a suit at the Kedja High Court, 
in respect of the loss of life caused unlawfully and justifiably, legally unacceptable, by the Nigerian police force. We are asking, among other things, for a billion naira each for the untimely mm. death of these people. We are asking for an acknowledgement that they were so unlawfully killed, actually murdered. The, that, these suits were filed on the 19th of September, oh. about a month after the death happened. It's not yet assigned by the court. I mean, due, I think, ordinarily due to the bureaucracy and all that, I think it was the whole of last week that was used to do new legal year celebration and all that. But I hope this week, uh, the coming week, we should have gotten a date and we shall be in court. Now, we also visited the office of the DCP, Banti, that the SIB or SID Banti, to drop a letter with them, with, with the officer there, that we want access to the bodies of these young men allegedly dumped at the Badagri uh, hospital, General Hospital Badagri, by the police. We are yet to get any response. Uh, even though the DCP assured me, because I met with her, that she'll get back to me and my letter will be treated. That was almost two weeks now. We've not heard a thing from them. We've also um, written to the Office of the Attorney General, as well as to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, Lagos State, over this matter. That should not be swept on the the, under the carpet and all that. I'm here to receive a letter from the offices, although I was even formally informed yesterday that an effort was made to send in a letter to my office, but they, mm. they couldn't get the address. Okay. So far, this is what has uh, happened. Mm -hmm. We are not satisfied yet. Uh, again, the matter came up last week, was supposed to come up last week, Monday, at the Butimeka Magistrate Court. That is the, you know, this gentleman, the, the policemen, who have been uh, dismissed from, from service by yeah, the police, course, yes. and they have been arranged uh, at the British Court oh, 5. Right. Uh, I think, I think the pending when the advice of the Director of Public Prosecution of the matter will come Excuse out. For, yes, because such, normally the Magistrate Court cannot handle, does not have jurisdiction to entertain allegation of murder for mm. unlawful killing and all that. Right. Uh, incidentally, uh, the court did not sit that day because it fell on the beginning of the new legal year celebration oh, in Lagos oh, State. Yes. yes. Okay, I would you on the Hello? Hello, good evening, Bolati Fair. Welcome to Super Eye. Yeah. Well, I'm very happy to be on the studio. Right, thank you. Make your contribution. We don't know what uh, keep the people uh, waiting for to give us a justice of what happened since on the 19th of uh, uh, last month. Yeah, we don't we keep us on the darkness. We don't know what is happening. And um, we are asking for true justice because we are waiting for Nigerian, as a Nigerian, we are waiting for them to have a good justice for the late and uh, people that happen around our area. And particularly, the man, police, or more, is a terrorist in that area, tormenting the people of uh, uh, Iba and the Aziz. So they, 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 he has been doing this. Let police do their touristic investigation about this particular, it's a terror, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a terrorist. It's a terrorist because he has been terrorizing the area. No peace, no anything for that area. But now you can see the area is cool and calm. All right. But we um, want a good we'll, we'll justice for the dead. All right, many thanks, Bolo Atifeh. All right, that's um, somebody who has a good knowledge of this uh, particular uh, issue. Okay, Barrister, right on with your Yes, like I, like I was saying, that we are not satisfied uh, with the response of the police, with the response of the Office of the Attorney General. We are talking about lives here. Sure. As up to now, the parents of these people are yet to, to see get the, the cops. Yes, yeah, the cops. Their children. Yes. All right, thank you, Barrister. Let me hold you on uh, uh, based on that. Um, um, sir, sorry about the death of your uh, son. However, 
Uh, let me get, let's get to know your background or uh, what do you do. Tell us about your son. I mean, this is an exclusive because in reports, sometimes uh, we don't have all of the time to put all of what you have said there. So this is an ample opportunity for you to let us know you better. So tell us the background, your background, your son's background, and your own uh, uh, side of the story. All right, thank you. I'm Chief Mayo Asolaja. Yes. Yeah, I'm from Shagamu and Shimawa. And uh, uh, both my mother and my father side, I'm a prince. We are, we, my mother is from Royal Ho, and my dad as well from Royal Ho, both in Shagamu and Remo and Abekota side. And my son Ayo, he's a very good boy, very b brilliant boy. He had just finished uh, his uh, uh, master's in France. He's just finished his master's in yes. France? Yes, yeah. because of this uh, 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 youth service call and other things. Then I asked him to come home so that he would come and serve his father's nation to perfect all this and then after finishing. So we now know that he has finished every program, then he started with his own life. Then coming home now, they didn't kill him over there. In the, I mean, where he traveled to, to study and did his master, just 29. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 at 29, still under the age to serve. Then I asked him, well, come home, come and serve. Do the leg or something, perfected everything. And nobody killed him abroad, where he study. Then he came back home now to serve the fatherland. And someone just come and kill him just like that. Mm -hmm. How did you get the news of his, um, uh, of his death? Yeah, her sister, uh, his sister, that is uh, Sheung, Sheung Sulaja, that is uh, his, his sister. Their mother is not at home, he went to Jerusalem for pre-made something. So then it was uh, Sheung that called me, I'm a Shagamu, because I'm a com community leader and a businessman. A community leader in Shagamu? Yeah, I'm, Shagamu. I'm the Lucy of Shimawa. Okay. Yeah, and even here in Lagos here, yeah, I'm the boy of uh, Rawuri land. Okay. So coming, I just come back from Britain, you know, to so come and do some other things, other things at home. So now the Shem called me around, the, around 10, then told me the sad story. He said, look, you can not see Ayo when he come back from the shop. He's normally, normally when he's coming like that, he always meet him at uh, some, uh, that he buys there yeah, yeah, with his friend, around him. Him. So, and he said, you should always be home by seven. So, they can't locate him, then they have been going up and down, but suddenly he said, he had the neighbors telling her that uh, something has said something in the, area. in the area with the police. Okay. Then it was at that, then when he got there, it was at the police station that is now calling me. He said, Dad, see what is happening now. They said that you are not the police on the half of Frank Castle, and it's at the station now. But the one man there, they said he, his name is uh, Omar. Omar. Said if he didn't leave, uh, if she didn't leave the station, she will shot her. What? Yeah, that's what she told me. I said, ah, she said, he said so. What is something? And that, that time it's getting to like after 10, 11. I said, oh, it is night now. Okay, then I sent him the number of a solicitor that maybe they'll be doing that mm, on, against behalf. It, on my behalf so that. And then for early in the morning, then I will join them. Okay. Then, for me now, leaving Shagamu, coming along the way, that was when I got to Shodi. Now call, she now called me again. She said, I was dead. Okay. So, the, yeah, just like that. Mm. And since then, we cannot even mm. get to the root of the whole issue. I don't know what is really happening. Okay, we got there. Where is the body? We can't get it. Okay, I I'm just put it out here and there. Where are these people? We cannot even, I don't really understand what is going on. Okay, uh, on this uh, particular day, uh, mm. where was your son going to? Was he just He's strolling? about to go back on, to, uh, to return to come. To come, okay. to serve in at Kogi stage. All right. So, and it's also to, to go back early in the morning on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. He called me that he'll be back on Tuesday. That was on Sunday. Then I said, okay. Make sure you, you book your, because early in the morning like that, it's too dangerous for someone mm, to, to, ta to take a pike. Mm. So he has a definite man, and, uh, which I arranged for him. Call that man, let him take you to the park or Yanobao. 
don't go and be stopping only he can carry or cut a man or not something. No. And if he go with the car, who will brought it back home? No. Nobody will bring it because their mother is not at home. So don't take this or something. Call that man. He said, yes, he has booked the man already. Then I transfer money to him. And I wish him safe journey. That as soon as he's leaving home in the morning, he should call me. And when he got to the bus, when he got to the terminal, boarding the bus, he should call me and keep me informing. Until and thereafter, the this was so, the news yeah, that yeah. you heard. Then I think that very night, that very day, like it's a neighborhood, and they are grown up in that area. All his friends are in that area. I think it's like telling my friend, like I'm going tomorrow. That's just an issue. All right. Um, uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, Madam, uh, Madam Rosaline Nebobo, please let's hear your own side of the story. Tell us your background. What do you do as, uh, 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 what do you do for a living? My name is Rosaline Nebobo. I'm working in the school. I'm a nanny. I'm doing nanny for the school for uh, Pivik Secondary School at Ibani site. That's what I'm doing. Then on Sunday, my daughter put to bed. So both of us and my son, Oganogo, is the father of the year because he's my first son. He came early to the place. So both of us, we eat, we drink. I don't, I said they should serve him food, he eats, everything. Later in the evening, they went back on without my son that is outside. Get to the next day. I thought that uh, he has gone home. Around 9.30 to 10, then I called me that I should come to uh, adult police station that uh, my son is there. Uh -uh. When I got to that place, and I started asking the policemen and the women, some of them went inside, and they started calling my son. Uh, so I said, I said the name is Oganovo or God's Power. Uh, Oganovo, God's Power, there's nobody there. The Mr. Omo is the policeman, I came, he's like, come, madam, if you see your son, will you know your son? I said, yes, I will know my son. Man. He just brought the phone like this. He said, I said, this is my son. He now show me, he now scoot to the side again. This is a uh, ayo. I said, now what happened? I should go to Badagri uh, General Hospital, go there and look for my son. They are taking care to there. Hey, and I start shouting. And I called the wife. The wife immediately. Even that night, to 11, we are still at the police station. The, the way we are talking, he said, if you people did not live here now, we will arrest you people and put you inside the cell. Hey, madam, it's a pity. Sorry, you people should be going home now. Immediately, the, son, the daughter, that my daughter-in-law, she's pregnant too. The girl cannot go immediately. He start bleeding that moment. They now rush him to hospital the next day. Before we get there, four months pregnant. Waste. He waste. We don't know what to do. And I call my husband brother at worry. He's the one that said that he pick up the case. Now call, now call the uh, commissioner of police. Then I went to the adult and arrest the four policemen and the DPO there. Take them say, now call one of my husband brother is Benji. That this one should rush to the panty to make sure that the people are there. The man now got there, he saw the four policemen and the and, and the DPO. They say it's a lady, I don't even know the person. Ah, as he got there, I don't know what to do. And I start calling, and I call my husband brother, my husband brother say, don't you worry. This is my son. It's a good boy. Me looking at the picture there, if I can even the picture is with me here. Me looking at him, he's a gentle boy. He's no, no problem, nothing, nothing. I don't know what to do. Then okay, I, madam, let me quickly ask you. Your son, what does he do for a living? He's a businessman. What kind of he, business? He and the wife, they are selling boutique. The boutique is at Yanosash. <clears throat> oh, God. It's what, even what I'm holding on now that I've not even revealed for you, he traveled out, he came back, they now call me on... Last two weeks Thursday that they give them money and the goose is back. I don't I cannot lie to the people. I said the mistake that I want to speak to Mr. Oganovo. I said Mr. Oganovo is dead, it's my son and the mother talking. The people did not call me. Oh both the goose and everything I got, they said they will give them three hundred thousand. The man in charge, my son already told the man that uh, if they brought the money, take three take a uh, thirty thousand and put two uh, put uh, uh, two hundred and seventy thousand inside the account, which you are saying. All those things, I will lose it. I can't find my son. I can't find the goods. I can't find the money. I can't find anything. The wallet immediately. Me looking at that picture, that could be Mr. Mo. He collect even the phone that they show me. I suspect that that phone is my son's phone. They use the phone and snap my son. 
I'm suspecting that phone because it's a big phone. Okay, um, um, I sympathize with you, Martin. Okay, Olabi is calling from Bariga. Olabi, welcome to Super High. This is Olabi Akishola from Bariga. Good evening. Have your say and please project. Yeah, actually, I want, I want to speak to about this topic, about the how police can do in Nigeria these days. Okay. It's actually obvious. It happens to you. Where citizens of Nigeria cannot even train their rights to street no more. What are you speaking away? As a Nigeria politician, we have this human right that every citizen of Nigeria has to walk freely from the street. When the when the policeman just arrives you without without any consent, without any 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 daddy, just take you to the jail, straight to jail and let the imprisonment. All right, all of the many things. Uh, uh, of course, it appears everybody is calling for justice, and this is not different from what the parents of these two Nigerians are also calling for. You have heard them that say, up until now, they are yet to get the corpses of their, uh, uh, of their children, uh, which for them is quite a worrisome. Yes, the case is in court, but then I was able to speak with the public relations officer of the police in Lagos State, and I think it is imperative for us to bring it on air on what he said about this very issue. And now you have the opportunity to juxtapose, uh, based on what the parents have said, the lawyer and what the public relations officer has to say. Now, let's quickly take a listen to uh, DSP uh, Bala Elkana, the PPRO Labor State. I may not speak much on it because the matter is already in court, so I will be prejudiced to speak much on an issue that uh, is already in court. So we should allow the court to decide the case on its merit and um, judge. But um, for the purpose of clarity, I've made a lot of statements. I've issued an official statement to that uh, effect because um, the reports we got from the DPO of the area shows that um, the station received a distress call that uh, armed robbers were operating uh, and they snatched a phone from a young man. She mobilized her team and sent. Four of them went there. They got two of those suspects arrested, then two escaped. The owner of the phone was there, and the owner of the phone made a statement also that he was robbed by this particular team. The people of Iba, you know, um, complained that uh, this particular gang have been disturbing them. That is from the report we got from the DPO. Now, what we frown at is the unethical conduct of the men. Because under our laws, an accused person is presumed to be innocent until proven guilty by court of competence jurisdiction. We cannot be the judge and executioners. Our role first is to respond, which we did, to a distress call because it is an allegation which we have to prove. How do we do that? We investigate, get the facts together, charge the suspects to court and allow the court to decide. But for the policemen, after effecting the arrest, to stand on the road and decide to be the judge in their own case and to also execute, we frown at that. And you could see the action the command has taken by first apprehending those policemen, subjecting them to custody because even when they came, they were feeling that they have done a good job because they were pushed by the people. You could see from the video, some people are celebrating them, saying that they have done a good job arresting armed robbers. And they were overcarried. They are carried away by their overzealousness. 
and they have moved beyond their mandates. We subject them to our internal disciplinary mechanism, which we call Odlirum. That is just an avenue also for them to explain themselves. Evidence were also adduced, and at the end of the day, the adjudicating officer found them uh, guilty of professional misconduct. They were awarded the punishment of dismissal from service and prosecution because this is human's life. They have killed human beings. We handed them over to uh, the state's criminal investigation department in Yaba, which uh, in turn uh, charged them to court. They were remanded in prison custody and the case is ongoing there. That is what a responsible organization will do. We keep on telling the world we don't tolerate impunity. Every day you come in, you will see a lot of policemen that we subject to disciplinary uh, measures. Only that most at times, since it is internal, it is not what we always uh, um, break the press on, but the records are always there. If we have not been checkmating excesses of policemen, believe you me, no Nigeria will be free to move the streets. That is why you could have only few misbehaving, not the majority. If the majority are misbehaving, nobody can leave his house. Because there is a system checkmating those excesses. And just like any other system, you could see that there is a firing squad court has sentenced someone to death. He has been tied to be shot. There, where he has been fired, you will hear also funny stories of people stealing from people's pockets. They are watching somebody being fired for what they are about to do, and they keep on doing it. But that, that does not mean that also the law will stop. We will continue enforcing. In as long as people will not stop uh, breaking the law, the law will also always be there to catch up with them. So we are doing our best. It, it is not a hopeless situation because we are sanitizing the system. Those who are not fit for service, we are showing them the way out every day. Those who are fit. All right, that's the much we can take from the public relations officer, Lagos State, Abala El Kanade. Well, you just heard him what he said there. I, I want to uh, uh, hear from you, the parents. What do you make out of what BPRU has said? Are you satisfied Those with that? Those ones are forged. They are forging it. They don't know what they are saying. If you go to the Ibana, although the lawyer should be went there together, there's nothing like that. If I go to Ibana, you go and check. There's nothing like that. You hear what the other man said there. Since they arrest those four policemen, now that place now is scared because they are, the, they are the armed robber in the place. They are not doing all those things. Are you are you accusing the police the of police being is responsible? Armed and uh, the police is a killer. I used to say women be part. You go to the Iba station there. Yeah. Inside the Iba town, yeah, you will hear a lot of story of those policemen. Yeah. So, okay, Okolo Walegi, welcome to Super Eye. Good evening, please, madam. Good evening. Please make your contribution. You see, uh, the problem of Nigerian police started from year 2000 and 2001 recruitment. Many of them that were recruited, they, most of them are criminals. No proper, no proper recruitment. During your, our own time, a, a king will sign your, uh, uh, he, he will sign your form for you, a reputable king of your town. But nowadays, money has spoiled everything. You see them in the police college, be canary, somebody that is up to 50 years, we go and do affidavit, they need to be 22 years old. By the time he rose to the rank of inspector, he's almost 60 years old. So that is the problem. Police are trying. But you know, I know this or more very well. Very, very brutal. Very, very, very brutal. Very well. So, Madam, I, 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 I pity you people that the uh, Almighty God will not allow such things to happen in your life again. Uh, and the lawyer, please, stand by these people and fight for their justice. Thank you very much. All right, many thanks, Kola Wale. That was a very beautiful contribution.
Uh, so, uh, madam, this goes to justify what, what you said earlier, because Kalawali also said that there are lots of criminals amongst the police. Of course, we know yes. that there will always be bad eggs, but it is uh, at an alarming rate the way at which um, you know police officers, some police officers, beg your pardon, just take laws into mm -hmm. their hands. So, sir, uh, what do you make out of what the PPR said? Do you also say that what he has said or what was the information they give to them is also it's, false? It's wrong. It's false. They are just fabricating lies. Yes. They are liars. The they are trying to do cover up. If you, one if there is an allegation there. against someone, would you take him to the station? Of course, you write should. a statement about his own side. Mm -hmm. And how does he know that they are the people who robbed the police? So yes. when they robbed, they stand there. Mm -hmm. They are just trying to do yeah, cover up. Mm -hmm. They are just trying to do. They are, they are fabricating things just to cover up. How can? How can? When, when you are, even though if you arrested someone, won't you take him to station? Okay, let so me hold on. Ah, are they, are they, welcome to Super Eye. What have you done about that? Are they making a contribution? So the amount um, now is a... Uh, Sir, let's take this contribution. Every year, they are not watching this program. Because of the law, the law itself starts from the, from the police and the leader. We are a leader that is the police of this country. Because yes, they are just making us that better power, that full of better power. Thank you. Okay, Ade, I don't know. Um, I, I didn't really get Ade very well. It wasn't clear so enough. They are using veto power. Uh, I heard veto power. Okay, the police are using veto power. So, uh, 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 right on, sir. Yeah, as I was saying, when you are someone with something, would you allow him to defend, to write to his own story? Man, of course. And when him. you go there, how do you know he's the robber? Okay. And who called them? Yeah. Where, where the statement of the person who called them on that, mm -hmm. uh, the track call they are talking about? I mean, even the, from the, the guy in that area, it, the it, people like, uh, around there, they have been saying it. He will just come in, raid everybody, lock them up, collecting money. Collecting money. Police Anybody who challenge him, he will lock them up. It's too much for of, of, of the guy. In this, in that area, in that area. In Iba. You go so there, why, why has it continued in that area without people coming out to mean? I, I don't know. So you are now, the, you, you, you are the arrester. Eh? You are the investigator. You are the prosecutor. Mm. And you are the judge. And after the judge, you know there's something they call the prosecutor. So you now execute the or we do five minutes. All right, this is a clarion call, let me just say. There are different <laughs> areas. There are lots wow. of um, 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 terrible. happenings, negative happenings going on in different areas in the country. And I think if this is uh, happening, there is a need for uh, Nigerians or residents of that area to also uh, make noise about this. I mean, look at what they are saying about Iba. They are alleging that uh, at, uh, 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 at, at most times, the police come around and they raid the area and then if you refuse to give them money, what they do is just, you know, just yeah. uh, um, take a decision over you. Either they shoot you or they kill you. And this is what we are trying to stop. The extra official <laughs> killings. Okay, Joshua, you're welcome to Super Eye. Please have your I say. Know. I know. Hello, right on. Right on, have your say. I want to speak on this issue you are, you are addressing now. Okay. Uh, last, uh, yesterday, something I think Joshua's network is bad. I can't hear Joshua very well. Joshua, please, you can uh, try again. We still have um, a few uh, minutes to go on the program. So, as I was saying, uh, if there's anything bad happening in your area, it is, this is a clarion call on residents so always make noise about it because nobody knows who can actually be a victim of such ills and uh, this is what super eye is here for we are out to put the authorities on their toes in doing that which is right now barista you said something earlier in your submission which is the fact that you are not um, satisfied with the way the police is handling the issue can you um, um, expatiate on this? Yes, thank you so much. I, I think um, when you listen to the uh, PPRO, mm -hmm. the standard convincing glib and all that, they try to do balanced, uh, kind of balanced story. But the fact is that the institution, the police, 
or the authorities, not just the authorities, the military, the customs, the immigration, mm -hmm. even the civil service generally, they hold the citizens they serve in contempt. If we are talking about two lives grossly murdered, and we are saying that up to now, we've had no access to the corpses. I went to the scene with the parents. I went there. I went there. And I went to the uh, station. You saw the police people were doing. They were just scared. They didn't want to talk to me. Mm -hmm. They've taken the, the DPO away and all those kind of things. That's all. I went to the, um, the panty. You know, the lady there, the boss is a lady. I spoke nicely, you know, but nothing, no action. You see, um, until, and I, I think I agree with you, that until we have a more robust uh, citizenry, we are too docile, too complacent, and um, we, if you are weak, no talent. Yes, no, no, I would say complacent, too mm. weak. We are too afraid, and we can't look onto these leaders because they are not actually leaders. The a shepherd supposed to look after the sheep. But you find out that uh, our own shepherds in diverse forms they eat up the sheep. Them. So the sheep just would have to wake up to their responsibility, even after this death, like you said, in Niba Estate. Uh, 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 all right, so let me quickly hold you on, on that thought. Monday is calling from Urile. Monday. Monday, are you still there? Okay, all right. Please uh, keep trying. All right, yes, sir. People who have gone on a protest. Um, the, what has happened in the high street? But everybody just fold their arms, well, since that's not happened to me. Exactly. And, um, and um, if, if it now comes a matter of the court, we would have expected even a consent worse. people to come over to the court. They will not want, mm. they won't want to come. They say, no, I don't want problem. I don't want problem. And that's why a whole lot of things have gotten wrong with mm. our country. I don't want problem like for last time so many years ago, I don't want mm. that I'm at the house. Yes, this, this, exactly. This. But like you said, it can happen to just about anybody. anybody. In fact, when the news came out that one of the people affected happened. All, all right, so let me hold you on. Christopher is calling. Christopher, you're welcome to Super Eye. Thank you very much. Good evening. Good evening. Make your contribution. Hello. Right on, right on. Yes. Uh there's something that happened this morning when I went out with my boss to the church and my madam. On our way to, on our way coming back from the church, the CPM, CPM. So on our way coming back, there is a, a bus stop. They have a good shoot. So we dropped a, a, one of the sisters we carry on the car. The bus stop. So after dropping the woman, we moved immediately. And they give a uh, police people that normally use bike. It's a white bike. There were two on the bike. They blocked me. And now you drop a white bike. I said, I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry. Oh, that place was a bus stop. The next thing they do not stop. One of them jumped into the car. My boss was like taking him, talking to him, talking even my madam, a professor, taking them. Taking them, they took up. And I'm sure they are not supposed to get to get to get to get to but this man had in his mind, he jumped into the car, he has to claim us on the threaten us to bring a same van. Now the other person that was on the bike threw us up. He hides at the back of the truck. While the man, after threatening my boss that he wants to, want to call a same van to come and clean the car. Under the street of my boss and the wife, that they should not come and clean the car. And all okay, that. Christopher, like, Christopher. Sorry, Christopher, I don't, I don't have all the time. What do you have to contribute to the, the, the topic of discussion? Madam, let me cut you short because when we start overdoing all this, we are struggling with just too much. Okay. At the end of the day, they have to stop my body and collect 7,000 naira from my body. Mm. Madam, is there no corruption in Nigeria? Of course. Is there no criminal? Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Christopher. Well, it appears that a lot of Nigerians are actually, you know, um, rising uh, uh, up for all of these anomalies, and uh, which must be corrected. But unfortunately, time will not permit, so uh, we we'll need to wrap up on the program. Now, I want to get a final word from both parents quickly before I get that of the barrister. What are you demanding? What are you calling for? 
if up until now you are yet to get the cups of your children, what do you still have hope? Are you optimistic that you can actually get their cups? My son go to the leg because you know that that man they say is the killer. You to tell woman me back. So anything my boy, my son body will be complete. And no more we pay everything, even the money that money. That one is the small money because I know what my son will do to me. I know what he promised me that he will do. I can say he just travel back from even the the the, the, the uh, passport is there with you. If I can, if you want it, I can bring it. So all those ones is lost for me. It's not lost. I bought the land. I sell it because of my son. So then I read the results. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's get a final word from you. you the see? final word to the police, to Nigerians. The, the, the way they are behaving, you know, it's very, it, it's not good at all. They are killer. They employ you people to protect us. And you are the very person that killing. With the gun we buy with our resources money. And they are paying you a salary to protect us. Okay, now, see this boy. He's a copper slashing officer for where he's serving at Kogi State. He's a copper slashing officer. The operator people there, they have been calling, calling, this and that. If you them, more than us. Them more than more than us. Now, the boy who was, uh, have got his master at the age of 29, very brilliant, the boy. You don't allow him to even enjoy his life. And for me now, all my contribution now, where is he? All my investment on him. Where that? But he can keep his own children at home, feeding them, taking care of them. Where will that start from? Is it from pregnancy or what? Hmm. Send him to private university? So in a Down from sir, here, are you? In a nutshell, sir, you demand injustice there. First and foremost, I want to see, I, I, I want his body. I want to see him. And I want to talk to him. He's my son. Then, justice, man. I want justice. So I will not, we are not safe in our own country again. Hmm? I want justice. Right. Hopefully then, that justice will come, sir. Then, then, yes, uh, I will we discuss with the lawyer. Right, I can't sir. lose my son. Hmm. Lose all the investment, hmm. all the hope hmm. that have been given me. Look at me now. I Who am I going to lean upon? I'm getting old. I'm old. I can even huh? imagine the state that, that your wife is going to be and other family members yes. of yours. Well, uh, let's just hope that oh um, uh, the, the judiciary will do their, their, their work in this uh, particular area. A final one from you, Barrister, sir, what? as we leave. I think fundamentally, let the police do much more in terms of recruitment. A lot of wrong people. In fact, what some information we are getting that many people that have been dismissed are they find their way back yes. into the into the police yes. force. Mm. So 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 the the police authorities should not start uh, clapping for themselves that they are trying they have not tried enough. That organization I think it will appear that uh, the bad eggs, if they are not even more than the good eggs, mm. they should really yeah, and it's the, the face of the government because Law government is about law and order. Mm -hmm. And if you are law and order enforcement agency, you, you are not representing the government well. Mm -hmm. So government should do more. Then secondly, the citizens, them, ourselves, we are complicit. We are too, too weak, too, too timid. We do not demand enough accountability. We, we should make the authorities mm -hmm. to stand up. Mm -hmm. And finally, the judiciary, when matters like this come up, the judges should not begin to pretend that see police do not torture, police do not do extrajudicial killing and all that. Lawyers know what I'm talking about. When you get to court now, you now find judges trying to achieve uh, uh, maybe the defense lawyers or whoever they are yes. trying to paint a story. But really, our police, I'm, I'm sorry to say this, brutal and barbaric and it must change. All right, many things, sir. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, now this is about where we are going to uh, wrap it up on this week's edition of Super Eye. Quite a pathetic story, but you know, but we are doing our part as uh, a member of the Fort Estate of the Brand. Yes. Our concern really, it's about building a very good uh, nation. I mean, Nigeria will be celebrating a 59 years anniversary. I mean, 
uh, on Tuesday. And we yes. are saying that uh, the country should be better for it. Uh, rather than people still complaining about extrajudicial yes, killing of the police, we should have gone beyond all of this. And based on what these parents have said and what other callers have also said, it shows that there is fire on the mountain. Yes. If we are hearing stories of police also being involved in ritual killings, a selling of, uh, 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 of, uh, of body, parts body parts and all of that, then in truth, the police as an organization we needs a reorganization. Well, yes. this is where we're going to draw the cutting on this week's edition. Many thanks for watching and we will continue to follow up on the story. So while I'm at Denikia Weye at Good evening.